Welcome to another Tech Tuesday video offered by the New Mexico Distance Education and Learning Technologies team, a project of Propel. In today's video, we will be reviewing some advanced Google Calendar tips and features. Google Calendar allows you to create and retrieve meeting notes right from your calendar event. To create meeting notes in an event, first you want to create the event. You want to click Create here at the top left, choose Event, and then when the pop-up window comes up, make sure to select More Options. You will title your event, make sure that you have the proper day and time, and all of the details that you need. Here at the bottom, you will notice it says Create Meeting Notes. If you click on that, a Google Doc will automatically be created with the event title in the name. Then all you have to do is hit save. Now once this event is saved, if I go to this event, you will notice that I do have a notes page. I can click on this and it will automatically take me to the Google Doc with the date, the event name, and then the blank notes. And this is where you can make your notes for that meeting. Google also has an appointment schedules feature that allows you to create and share booking pages so that people can book a meeting time with you and you can view booked appointments alongside your schedule in Google Calendar. To create an appointment schedule, go to create on the top left and choose appointment schedule. It will bring up a pop-up where you can title your appointments. You can choose your appointment duration and you can choose your general availability. If you want to have a recurring uh, booking option, then you can make it repeat weekly, or you can have it not repeat and have different options for different days. So this just depends on what kind of appointments you're trying to book. So here I'm going to just set a few days and times where I want to have available. You can add as many days as you want, and you can modify your start and end times for each day. You can also change your time zone, select a scheduling window, which gives the maximum and minimum time in advance that someone can book. You can choose other appointment settings for booked meetings. So you can give yourself a buffer time. And this of course is customizable. So maybe you want 15 minutes in between meetings. You can choose a maximum number of bookings per day. So if you check that, it will block it off once that many have been scheduled. You can also check however many of your calendars that you have on your account to check these booking slots against. So if you check off all of your calendars, it will make sure to not book anything that's already booked for you. You can customize a booking page photo and name. You can default to a particular location or conferencing software like Google Meet, or you can leave that blank. You can add a description if you like, and you can create a booking form that customizes the information that people need to give you when they book an appointment with you. So here it already has first name, last name, and email address, which are required. You can add, if you like, a phone number and make it required. You can also customize items that you want to add. So if you want to add a custom information field, you can add that to the form. You can also create your own booking confirmations and reminders. You will automatically get a calendar invitation, but you can set email reminders for these schedules or these appointments um, up to five minutes before, and you can schedule multiple reminders if you like. Once it's saved, you will have your booking appointment slots done and you can share your booking page. You can either have a link or embed it into your website and this will allow you to share your booking link. You can even put it in your email signature if you like, if you want to have recurring booking appointments. Tune in next week for some more Google Calendar advanced features.